Welcome to our service of Compline this Tuesday the 24th of September. I'm Reverend Carroll with the Kingsbury and Baxterley Group of Churches. This evening um, there's nobody in the Anglican Communion to celebrate so we're going to celebrate the shrine of Our Lady of Walsingham. So this feast celebrates the shrine of Our Lady at Walsingham in Norfolk one of the great pilgrimage centres of medieval times. The Lady of the Manor of Walsingham, Richeldis de Faberge, was instructed by a vision of the Virgin Mary to build in her village an exact replica of the house in Nazareth in which the Annunciation had taken place. The vision occurred, according to tradition, in 1061, though a more likely date for the construction of the shrine is a hundred years later. The original house was destroyed at the Reformation, but during the 19th and early 20th centuries, pilgrimage to Walsingham was revived both for Anglicans and for Catholics. So that's a little bit of information about uh, <clears throat> Our Lady of Walsingham and the Shrine there, which I have been to see, and it's a beautiful place. So if you ever get the chance to get to Norfolk, do go and have a look. It's marvellous. So let us take a moment of quiet as I attempt to share my screen in the usual way. Words you seem bold or for you to join in with should you wish to do so. Otherwise, just listen and enjoy. So, my top picture is a um, stained glass window depict, depicting uh, Lady of Walsingham holding Christ and below is the interior um, of the new chapel at the Shrine of Our Lady. So do go if you ever get the chance. Let us begin. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. We take a moment of quiet as we reflect on the past day, the past week. Bring all our thoughts and concerns to God, knowing how much we are in need of his grace and forgiveness. We say together, most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Do we listen to the Convivium Singers and the Margaret Ritzer version of Before the Ending of the Day? Unlimited social media from Foxy Mobile is great. Seen that new sneaker drop? That's my autumn look source.
from Psalm this evening, Psalm 143. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and in your faithfulness give ear to my supplications. Answer me in your righteousness. Enter not into judgment with your servant, for in your sight shall no one living be justified. For the enemy has pursued me, crushing my life to the ground, making me sit in darkness like those long dead. My spirit faints within me. My heart within me is desolate. I remember the time past. I muse upon all your deeds. I consider the works of your hands. I stretch out my hands to you. My soul gasps for you like a thirsty lion. O oh Lord, make haste to answer me. My spirit fails me. Hide not your face from me, lest I be like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear of your loving kindness in the morning, for in you I put my trust. Show me the way I should walk in, for I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies, for I flee to you for refuge. Teach me to do what pleases you, for you are my God. Let your kindly spirit lead me on a level path. Revive me, O Lord, for your name's sake. For your righteousness sake, bring me out of trouble. In your faithfulness, slay my enemy and destroy all the adversaries of my soul. For truly, I am your servant. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Our scripture reading this evening comes from... <clears throat> The Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 11, starting at verse 20. Jesus said, Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Listen to the Nunc Dimittis.
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. <clears throat> in trust and humility, let us pray to the Lord. Give grace to the church to be the servant of all. Help your faithful people to work together for the kingdom, seeking no personal honour or reward. Have mercy on the world, where so many are driven on by the desire for power and privilege. Break through the pride that exalts nation against nation, race against race, class against class, and restore the innocence that we have lost. And we continue to pray for all places of war and conflict. We pray for the children in our families, for all the children in our communities, and those who teach them and care for them. Protect them from harm, and lead them into the future that is your will for each of them. <clears throat> Have mercy on the victims of jealous power, and all who are persecuted for the sake of the gospel. Comfort and restore all who are afflicted in mind or body. And we lift to you, Lord, all those who have asked for our prayers at this time. We pray for those who have passed through the trials and temptations of this world and are at risk, including Michael Savage, Lynette Maddox, June Hawks, Sarah Kelly, and Romeo Davies. Receive them mercifully into the kingdom where none ranks before another, but all rejoice in one equal glory. May our prayers be accepted through Christ, who was betrayed and died, that we might live. And the Collect Almighty God, you have made us for yourself, and our hearts are restless till they find their rest in you. Pour your love into our hearts and draw us to yourself, and so bring us at last to your heavenly city, where we shall see you face to face, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. As we come to the ending of the day, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. In peace, we will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. Come with the dawning of the day and make yourself known in the breaking of the bread. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. Concludes our service of Compline for this evening. I wish you all a safe, peaceful and quiet night and look forward to seeing you again next week. In the meantime, take care. God bless.